Local sophomore Chris Solis not only prides himself in his good taste, but expresses his individuality by literally building his own multifunctional wardrobe out of parts of scrap metal and broken machinery. This, in fact, it has two lenses on it and it's able to move. This round lens is a magnifying glass which allows me to zoom in on something. And this, um, this square rectangular lens is kind of like a scope so I can see farther away. Um, this arm, in fact, everything on it, like, it's kind of sewing based, but everything on it is functional. Like, I can use every spool of thread, I can use every pin and needle. And actually, in eighth grade, um, I started making about three of these rings, includes, including this, um, this, which is a hose clamp, and this, which is actually a key ring, a spring, and a paper. Chris uses scrap metal and parts of old DVD players to build onto his unique fashion sense that he calls steampunk. It's something called steampunk, which is like a subgenre of sci-fi, which is like industrial revolution kind of thing. Most of these stuff are just made out of scrap metal and like sometimes I like to dismantle old computers that my dad had worked with. So I tend to like glue things together and make most of what I wear. Always having a deep interest and fascination in gadgets and gizmos, Chris credits his inspiration to a simple desire to be himself. It's more of like me um, creating a collage of a lot of things that I like on my body. And um, I don't really have like single inspirations of people because um, when I think of you seeing someone as a, um, like a role model or something, I see it as it, you trying to be them and not yourself in any way. It's just me kind of being me. When Chris entered high school, his interest in building his own accessories became stronger due to the friendly environment and the encouragement of his peers and teachers. AIT has been an extremely positive influence on his work. Um, one of my teachers, he was my history teacher, his name is Richard Castagnetto. He really took a favoring to what I can do. He's just really supportive of me and he really liked what I did. So. Since I'm surrounded by people who kind of accept me for who I am, it's kind of helped me to actually express myself more. And this actually is something that I've been working on. It's for my Halloween costume, which is like... Chris admits away. that he often receives so. mixed feedback and reactions towards his art. Like, people will always say, oh, you, oh you're all weird, why do you wear all that stuff on your hand? Like, it doesn't matter what anyone thinks of me, just, I just know what I can do, and I want people to know what I can do. Though Chris works with dangerous supplies, safety always plays a major factor when construction is involved. Yeah, in fact it does, because I spend a long time making sure that something seems nice, but even if it seems nice, I still need to make sure that it's allowed in school, and that it can't hurt me or anyone else. When Chris isn't building, he's either drawing or singing, but always promoting his individuality. Yeah, I, I'm usually, like, you can usually just find me, like, drawing or something. So, yeah, that's usually how I spend my time. Most all of the time, I'm just doing something that expresses myself. Chris has a rare appreciation of machines and scrap metal and spare parts, and finds beauty and potential in what most would consider trash. All, everything that I make, it's kind of just based off of my interests and the things that I like. Well, the only thing I could say is be yourself and don't care what anybody else thinks. Just know who you are and let everybody know who you are.